very well known uh, worker with uh, G.I. Joe. Okay, so basically, uh, uh, G.I. Joe, what did you take uh, from this year? Uh, what did you take from this year? First of all, I was talking to people about this today. I've seen a lot of your videos, Sire Blood and stuff. And so you know, you kind of feel like you already know people a little bit. So the second you meet, it's uh, it's a common ground already. And those interesting connections and they just great, great people. And that's one of the biggest things. For several years. That's the one aspect, obviously. The other aspect is the game itself. The game. And, uh, yeah. I mean, I was going to ask, obviously, we're playing a very different game. Obviously, Axis and Allies, but we uh, are playing with a different set of rules that's uh, for this particular tournament. Okay, that makes it possible for there to be a winner, okay, through a point based system. What was your take on that? Um, I really like it. Obviously, it's a lot different than the out of box, right. and um, he's in, introduced a lot of things like uh, transports via bombers. He's got the naval blockade where one ship can only block three ships. Uh, the railway, I love, and uh, I think his, his rules are kind of like more towards maybe the spirit of actual the war and being a war history buff. I kind of like the fact that you know it's maybe a little more in line with with the history. So I like the fact that after seven rounds you have a distinct winner. I think that's great. Um, um, I really like it. I like it a lot. And uh, you know, whether you like to play the out of box version or YG's rules or uh, or maybe Star Bloods, I think that you know it kind of reinvigorates the whole game. So like you know one day you do out of box, next day you do Star Blood, next day you do uh, YG's. Uh, Okay, it gives you, rules. It, your options. It gives yeah. the members of our community options as far as what they can play. Yeah. Okay, I mean, if you want to go uh, with Sired's rules, fine. If you want to play with YG's rules, great. Or you just may want to play what I call a gentleman's game. Gentleman's game. Right? You know, basically all out war. Take as much time as you want. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so so that's what I love. That's where what I are you going from here? From this point onwards, as far as you, with your own YouTube channel, I know you were kind of hinting at me earlier that. You want to go all out with your own bunker, and can you elaborate on that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, as far as my YouTube channel, I definitely have still have some Normandy videos I need to upload that I haven't done. But you know, in preparation for this video, I mean, this trip, I kind of had not a lot of time, but school started back and all. But uh, I definitely want to finish out my bunker. Uh, I've kind of been torn between some different table models, and uh, after seeing his table, and of course knowing yours from your video, I'm, I might want to kind of melt some of those ideas together. Um, and I want to finish out my bunker with some, you know, some wood, kind of ship lap, right. ship lap and stuff, and make it look. I already got the metal conduits and stuff involved, and you just want to actually feel like you're stepping back into the 40s when you head into my bunker. Yes, I, I, I also mentioned to you earlier today that one of the uh, bunkers that I most like, that I most admire, is the, the bunker that uh, Dirk Kunstler has. Oh, yeah. Exactly. It's actually it's not nice. a bunker, it's a wall. Dirk but I, but, but yeah, I, 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 I like the flavor that he has introduced, and it's something that I, that I, I aspire to have in at the garrison as well. Yeah. I'm not quite there yet, but it's a work in progress. I always say that at the garrison, it's a work in progress. But uh, but I, but I get it, and I commend you for trying to you know uh, make your environment, your, your war game, or war room environment even better. Than this. Anyway, thank you so much. Hey man, it's and, uh, pleasure's all mine, and I look forward good to seeing this good. always. Yes, man, it's cool. You know, like I said, I've been watching him for well, a year now, a year now on your YouTube, your YouTube channel and some painting stuff, but. It's the real deal, man. Thank you. Thank good, you. good people. So, it's so sorry, sorry, my brother. Take care. Good to see you. Guys. Thank you, brother. Uh, here we are with Sire Blood at the uh, Blood Bath. Okay, so I have to come in, brother, because uh, Sire, you have done an amazing job. Thank you. Thank you. All the hard work, uh, the dedication, the commitment to the community uh, is evident. Uh, not only because of the guy, you know, quality individual that you are, but because of the people you brought in. It's set out by you and the hard work. Okay, so uh, I commend you on that. Right? So it's, it's, it really is a pleasure to be here today. Thank you. It's an so, honor, honor to play with you. Dude, we oh, got to play. Yes, by the yeah. way, Sire was my partner. Or we, I was his partner, let's say. We had, it was a lot of fun. It was, <laughs> so it, was. it definitely was. 
Yeah. Okay, so what are the plans? What do you have, uh, what is the walk away from uh, this experience? Well, everyone seems to like, like the work. Uh, many people are going to take these rules home with them, so uh, that's, that's an honor to me. Okay. That, uh, they like them that much to uh, continue it on. But I do have some changes I would like to do. Right. Uh, okay. uh, shouldn't get to Hawaii. But um, the same spot. Uh, I mean, Honolulu, yeah, Hawaii, to Japan, and one move. Okay. I, I think uh, you mentioned something about uh, introducing a, a border between um, C zone. Yes, C zone. Uh, Japan needs two C, two C zones. Okay, right. Um, yeah. Because technically, if you read the rules, uh, it's it's a single body surrounded by water, which indicates it as an island. And in the rule book, islands cannot have factories. So out of box, it's it's an island. So we need to separate it, kind of like. Uh, it, it makes sense. You know, Rome is separated. Yes. It's not an island, but still, you can attack that capital by two separate places. Uh, London, you can attack from two separate locations. Uh, Japan, you can attack from two separate locations. And that would uh, make Japan have to take so, what side of the island they're putting their naval units. Right, so that means that anybody who's planning to print your maps. Yeah, I might want to hold out. Uh, <laughs> there's, there's that change. Yeah. Um, there's going to be, I want to add way more cities. I added, I was honestly, I got kind of bored making cities, you know, little dots and trying to try and do the research. What yes. was what was it called in the 40s, especially in the Chinese territories? But yeah, it's going to be covered in more uh, cities. All right, so, so what, what's the future? What are we going to have? Are we, are we, are we gonna, we're going to have a second blood battle. Okay. This been all this money for nothing, uh, right? Yes, yes. So the question then is uh, same uh, number of guys, bigger, smaller? Which way are we uh, leaning towards? I, 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 uh, maybe it's a little bigger. Maybe I, I like I like our, our uh, the, the group. Uh, okay. It might be kind of I don't know how hard it be to manage yeah. more people coming in. Uh, well, definitely, if you're thinking about uh, more people, then you have to, I guess, think of maybe a bigger place. So I was a, thinking. I was thinking all of my stuff is portable. Temporary yeah. shelter. I wanted. I was thinking about what if we got a space on the beach. Oh, set up fire pits afterwards. If people wanted to camp out, they can camp out in their tents and stay on the beach, wow, play, great. and then after it's over, go to the pits, go in the ocean. Wow! You know, well, it's girls in bikinis, <laughs> right? We are in, <laughs> we are in California, folks. So you know, it's uh, something to look forward to. So, all right. So anyway, listen. Once again, let me thank you. It was a pleasure. Yeah, awesome. you know, and awesome. Thanks for giving me a few minutes of your time. I know you're busy and I know you got yeah. stuff to do, but thank you once again. Thank you. Uh, here we are with Tafan. Tafan is a avid uh, gamer, Axis and Allies. He's been to just about most of the tournaments as far as I know, because I believe you were at the at the Desert Eagle World tournament. Right? So, I, so I've been to all the cool tournaments. All like the cool tournaments, yes. Young Grasshopper. Yes. yes. Toronto. Yeah, which that's where I met you. Twenty seventeen. Yes. Desert Admirals. Desert Showdown. Desert Showdown. Twenty eighteen. And last but definitely not least, Sired Bloods Bloodbath. Twenty eighteen. So, what? In beautiful Lakewood, California. Lake Forest. <laughs> Lake California. Forest. Okay. <laughs> Question. What have you taken from this experience and this event in particular that's different from the other tournaments? It's a new way of playing. This is a completely uh, new and, and incredible way of playing this game, which is uh, important because any game can become old, can become, you know, stale, stale. Okay. if it's played too much. But when you've got the kind of variety that Sorry, Blood is introduced to this uh, community. Correct. When well, you've got the kind of uh, creativity that you know, Grasshopper is introducing to this community with his new deluxe edition, uh, it, 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 and, and General Hand Grenade with his General Hand Grenade talent. Uh, it, it truly makes for incredible fun. I, I've enjoyed playing all three of them. Uh, Sired Bloods, one is a really good way if you're trying to introduce someone new to 1940 and, and you know you want to get it done in 10 hours for sure, nine hours. This is this is a way to go. Can, can, um, can you tell us a little bit of how you got involved in the game initially? Yeah, so, um, so initially, um, well back when I was in, in like 
grade school, really, oh, junior it. high, right. um, our neighbors in Equality Alabama used to get together and play exactly. risk and chess. And we loved them both. <laughs> and uh, as I grew older, um, uh, I had a Bible study leader in Hawaii introduced me to Axis and Allies Europe, original Europe, 19... What was original Europe? It was 1940. Yeah, the original. I don't think it had a 19, it was just like Europe, Axis and Allies Europe, right? The very first one. We had a Europe and a Pacific, like 2000 or something. And so he introduced me to Axis and Allies through that, that game, and I realized, I realized at that time it was the fusion of risk, chess, and, you know, war, uh, being a war buff, or, you know, war trivia and all that kind of stuff. So it's really incredible. The pieces that we play with, um, it's it's another thing that Sire Blood has done that I really appreciate, is that he has now brought pieces from many different eras of the game, and he has used his artistic talents to recraft them, paint them, make them rustic and aged in a way that matches his new map. And, and it's just a... It's, it's, got, it's, got, it's got that classical look. It's, that feel. It has a classical look and feel, and it, 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 it's brought something to all of us that we should cherish and treat as precious treasures. And thank you, Sire Blood. This is really super awesome. Brother, thank you so much. <laughs> we, oh, hey, we came in fifth. Yes. One team under under the medal rounds, but we're still here to celebrate with a winner. And, and, and we came in because right they deserve it. And, and, and I came in right behind you. <laughs> Thank you, brother. As 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 it should be. <laughs> no, no, Detroit, you're awesome, guys. God bless you, family. Tough, brother. Well, congratulations. Thank you very much. You and your partner did a hell of a job. Thank you, Detroit. It's a tough. It's a tough tournament, I know. It is very, very tough. I love the rules. Did you like the rules? I did love the rules, right. absolutely. You know. And we're going to play online? I hope so. I YouTube hope so. it? Yes, YouTube yes. It? It's yes. been a pleasure to we, finally we definitely meet will you go. face to face now. Absolutely. We have emailed back and forth about a year ago. No, so. We did, right? Yeah. Jeez, okay. I, 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 you know what it, what you, you know what it is that I, I go, I email and correspond so much with people uh -huh. that I lose track of who's right. who. And I, every week I'm going back and forth with two or three people at a time. So I and, it's, track. and it's been over a year since yeah. we did it. Because okay. when I first started getting into this yes. and I saw your customization right. videos, and I was like, dude, you're awesome. Thank you, I brother. told you I have no ability to Thank you, thank you. I, I am humbled that <laughs> you're telling me. You brought me more into it just by watching your thank stuff. You, thank you, I am humbled. So thank cool. you so much. <laughs> Absolutely, man. So now let, let me ask you a couple of questions. How do you feel about being the champion? You're in your partner. Uh, my partner's very good. Yeah. I know what I'm doing. He's very good. We totally opposite strategy. Yes. He's very conservative. I'm very aggressive. So it's a good check and balance. System. Yeah. He would reel me back when I needed to. I'd push him forward. But he so it, it, it was very evident that you guys were definitely intense. You know, you were definitely focused. You had a tough competitor. He's very good. You know, it's the, big thing. It's the little things that the, the, that does you win. Yeah. And that was very obvious. You know, but it so. has been a fantastic weekend. Uh, Got to meet a bunch of new good guys, yes. especially the guys I talked to but yes. didn't know face to face. Just learned a lot of new strategies watching other people. Absolutely, it's a great weekend, and then getting to play on stuff like this. So you have the honor. You have the honor of being the first. Champion. champion of the bloodbath. Bloodbath. Not so, a bad deal, right? Not a bad deal. It's, it's we all have the honor yeah. of being in the original. Yes. Yes. I, we I, are the I, I am proud. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a blast, man. <laughs> Absolutely, my brother. Absolutely, Thank bro. you so much for getting on. Right, guys, here we are with Popo 24 at the bloodbath. He came in second place today as the me uh, silver medalist winner. Okay, so I'm very proud to shake my friend's hand and in order to congratulate, congratulate you on your victory today. I know it was very tough because we're unfortunately uh, playing solo. Your partner, you know, you want to play solo, but your partner you know, has had issues and, and whatnot. But in any case, um, what are you taking away from this experience? Well, this is my second time I've gone to one of these uh, Axis Ally tournaments. Yeah. I went last year to Toronto, as you know, and just the camaraderie with the guys, having everyone come together who loves this game, just, just such a great experience. 
just such a fantastic <laughs> time. Yeah. I mean, I want to do this every year. I plan to do it next year. Yeah, no, it's, it's been on my desk. Like, yeah. 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 So just, um, well, it's, your, uh, it's great to see this community bonding yeah, together and right. having these big tournaments, and uh, I just love it absolutely. How different is this from YG's event? Uh, well, it's a different um, game. YG uh, focuses on the tokens, and this one focuses on points. Right. But um, it is the same game, global, for it. But um, other than that, um, there's a lot of the points and the tokens. What What did you like the most about the uh, side lights? Yeah. I really like the cavalry. I mean, that's really the, cavalry. the Chinese. Okay. Yeah, that's very fascinating. And China can build tanks. Yeah. Uh, that was really cool. Uh, factories moving uh, on the combat. That was very awesome. So he has different uh, tweaks. Uh, those are the main ones I really like. For me personally, I know it's your, it's your interview, but for right, right. me personally, uh, the two things that I like the most about uh, uh, Cyrus' new uh, house rules are one, the railroads. Yes, uh, yep, okay, those are cool. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Really, I really think that makes the game right. faster, a little bit more interesting. Yeah. Uh, also adds strategy and tactics to the game. The other aspect that I enjoyed, and I think you, I think you may agree, I'm not quite certain, but it's the weapon stack, the development of the game. Yes, I totally uh, forgot about yes, that. Yeah. That is, you know, for a long time, for many years, we, all, we have all played the game and we all find that we almost never use weapons development. Right, right. So, Siren has introduced a system where you can develop weapons technologies and that just blows the game, makes it, but brings the game to a different level. Absolutely. I totally agree with you. I totally forgot about that. Um, and you don't even have to reveal it, yes. which I just I found out in my last game. Um, Cowboy did it. Um, naval Clash on the long air, air um, um, long uh, aircraft uh, can go. They can like, go farther. And that was a decisive, yeah, game changer. I found out. Yes. <laughs> There's a lot. The new text um, radically. I, I shouldn't say radically. That's the wrong word. But, but it, it introduces new aspects to the game Absolutely. that you now have to consider and contend right. with when playing a, a game of this strategy. Yep. Like that's an totally. Yep. Okay, so, so what now? What's the next? Uh, uh, well, um, just going to drive back home and uh, just uh, relax for a while. I actually have a YouTube game going on right now with uh, you guys. Uh, we're playing at Anniversary. So other than that, um, I think I've been tar talking with the Argo there and uh, right. We're talking about doing a Bay Area tournament in uh, 2019 in January, the January. And um, that will be the second year because we had our first tournament this year in January. So other than that, um, I'll be doing some games and I'm probably just on YouTube. How big, how big is this tournament that you are well, I think the, the maximum uh, limit is going to be 20 people. That's what we've been talking at least. So we'll see what happens. It may go a little more, but we'll see how much it is. Well, I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make a commitment. Yeah, yeah, totally story, understand. Yeah. But I'm gonna make every attempt at being there, depending on how circumstances are. Totally understand. Yeah. But I, I, I will be very definitely interested in being there. Fabulous, fabulous. It'll be honored for you. Yeah, well, brother, thank you once understand. again. Congratulations. Absolutely. You deserve. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I mean, it was tough. I know yeah. it was a tough yeah, battle. Yeah. And you yep, know, I know yep. you were uh, hitting me hard. It oh, was man, close. I tried. It was, it was very yeah. close. Yep, close yep. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you, sir. Thank you. 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 Thank you.